Okay, yo, what's up? Join me on this very chill couch vibe. Uh, just in the living room, having a, having a lay down after the meal. But before we start this video, uh, I just want to make a quick mention, and that is that I started a Patreon. And before you get salty and call me corporate and I'm selling out, it's not the case. I'm not doing it to become a multi-millionaire or anything like that or take advantage of anybody's pockets. What it is, though, is for people who want to see me eat certain things, maybe things that I wouldn't normally eat, but like maybe don't even like or, or haven't tried or things like that, or just very specific meals that you like really want to see me eat, but I keep not eating it. And you're like, man, just eat that. And I'm like, well, maybe if you fuel the video, I could do it. So that's kind of the whole thing. It's like you go over there, you sign up for the 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 five dollar tier, and basically that's gonna fuel the money to make request videos. So you guys as 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 a group, like I'll put up in the Patreon, I'll I'll put up basically you guys suggest the foods and the meal and the type of video, and then the two most popular goes to a vote. And whatever gets voted on, that video gets made, and it's exclusive to those who are on the Patreon. If it sounds cool to you, please go s check it out, sign up. See, I already feel un already uncomfortable. I don't know why, but money is a weird thing. Anyways, it's more just to fuel certain food videos that you guys specifically want to see. Not to really line my pockets, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, so there's that. So Patreon link will be down below in the comments. I'll pin it. And if you feel that this channel has even given you any sort of enjoyment and you would like to support to some degree, uh, that is your opportunity there. So I appreciate the, well, if you sign up, I really appreciate that for sure. But as always, I appreciate the just general support of clicking on the video, giving me the views, things like that. So, so let's get into this actual eating video. Yo, what up? Welcome to a whole new vibe. Today, we're gonna eat some taco rito, some place that I'm just trying to uh, off skip the dishes. That said, here it is in front of me. It's looking very delicious. Um, as you can see, welcome to this living room situation. Got some natural light. Always wanted to do a natural light video. Never had the luxury. Now I do, and I'm thinking it's gonna come out pretty great. So anyways, what did I get? I got a big old burrito. Look at this boy. It's like a little football child, whatever that means. I don't know, but it is huge. It is the size of my dome, so there's that. Also, we have tacos, which I thought personally were gonna be crispy. Shake it up, uh, but they're not. They're, they're, they're double soft tortillas. And it's beef, sour cream, their, their taco sauce, lettuce, tomato, cheese, um, and grilled vegetables, I believe. Yeah, okay. Also, we're pouring up a cold one today. That's just what's happening. We're having a cold, nice cold Dr. Pep. And it's I should say, sorry, diet, Dr. Pep. We're going full aspartame, you know, causes cancer and shit or whatever, but you, guess what? Life causes cancer. Life is bad for you. Every second that marches forward, you're dying. We, we're all closer to the grave every day. So sorry to, you know, we're starting off a bit morbid, but I mean, let's face the facts. You know, what's the best thing you can do in life is just face the facts. So, enjoy it while you can. Be reasonable, though, however. I mean, I've been drinking, you know, I drank a bunch of days in a row. And uh, that's partially why this meal is happening as well. It's, it's, it's a hangover crate. Now, uh, here's where, what I'm going to say on that topic, actually, by the way. I appreciate concern for me, when it comes to like, you know, don't drink too much and blah, 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 which is cool. Thank you, but at the same time, I'm a seasoned partier. I'm always gonna party. I like to drink, I think it's fun. Uh, but yet, like I'm saying, don't overdo it. And the thing about my partying is that 
I have a good gauge on like when I gotta reel it in, you know? I'll never let the party beat me, dictate or control my life, make me like a non-functioning person. It's just, I know when to reel it in. And uh, and uh, after these last few days, now I'm gonna reel, reel it in for a bit. And then, you know, when the mood strikes again, we party. It's also, it's also summertime. So the vibe in the city is hyped right now. And it's hard when you go out to like I, I go to work my job at the Blue Jays game and it's like sunshine and roofs open everybody's on their level people are drinking it's a whole vibe but it's like a Tuesday when you work in that environment it's very difficult to not want to join into that energy post leaving work you're like you know what I want to have some fun too. So you do. Also, shout out to all those people who've uh, scoped me at work. What up? Thank you for the support. Also, just a quick thing to touch on there is uh, just I'm not used to getting like recognized out in public really yet. So it's like, and you don't expect it coming. So when it happens to me, I am like, just my reaction time just isn't there yet. You know what I mean? I just don't really, I'm not ready for it. I'm not used to it. Man, these things are giving me a problem. These seem like definitely something that you would rather eat on location. Not the best delivery food. I want the cheese to be meltier. And they're just really giving me Fall apart issues. But yeah. I've been living this whole crazy summer vibe like Just living this more like free and easy, like solo, solo cruising around the city, like out and about, have you? I'm becoming the guy who packs his life in a backpack, puts like, I bring like a toothbrush. my laptop, chargers, a change of clothes. I just get up and I go out and I do shit. I go swimming, go find places in the city, go work on YouTube, uh, make a Patreon, things like that. Like just business work, kind of trying to make this a little more businessy so I can actually do this for my life. And uh, it feels good, it feels crazy, it's like, this is a good vibe. I've just been meeting so many people. Just being really like outgoing. 
All right, let's get into this bad boy. Rice, peppers, beef, lettuce, tomato, cheese, kind of same thing as this, but just like more gangster, if you will. Chipotle mayo over here. Are you gonna try? Ooh, that's gonna be good. I already know that's gonna be good. So yeah, my life's been like a whole ass vibe lately. It's been really fun. Able to be consistent on YouTube, that feels great. Super happy with with that, and it's only gonna get better. Like once I truly have this place to myself, which should be like in the next week or so, I can get back to cooking and stuff. I can just just be more free. Do everything on my own terms for the next few months. The Leaning Tower of Burrita. Is it gonna go? Is it slight, slowly falling? It is slowly falling, okay. Oh my God, the Die Dr. Pepper is so good. <laughs> I've fully become the dude who like, who, like sets up shop in a, in a Starbucks or like a McDonald's and like gets on the Wi-Fi. And it's like, I work from my laptop, bro. You know, that guy. I'm an internet-based human being. But I'm trying to become that. Fully and totally. I'm just trying to break out the employee box. I just do not want to be an employee. And like, I just want to be responsible for my own self in this world. So, you know, the more I can get this going, the more support I can get on here, you know, Patreon, merch, things like that, whatever happens. I just want the scale to tip to where it's like, I'm just self-sufficient off my own hustle. Basically, I choose what I want to do every day. It's still work, but it's work I, I love, I enjoy, right? Like, that's where I, the place I want to get to, and I'm so excited for it. I'm just, like, thinking about it. Like, I've just been fantasizing it, like, manifesting it in my mind, and then applying the proper pressure and steps. So, I don't know. I'm really excited right now, to be honest, about, like, what's in store for the future. And having this opportunity right now, Being pretty like having freedom for the next few months and just being able to actually create and do things and no, no like real financial stress right now and things like that like I can actually just take advantage of this time to really like lay some good groundwork and grind and build and I'm super hyped for it because I don't know man like some people can can do the whole like nine to five like work for a company like they like that safety they they like that like predictable life i can't do it it's not for me i just i feel like i i don't want to be a cog in a wheel making somebody else's dream happen for them like i, I want to make my dream happen for me like i don't want to be a piece in somebody else's success i I just want to be for, like, I don't, I hate, the thing about jobs too is like, I hate going somewhere. Like interviews and stuff, it feels so like begging for another person's approval of like, it, are you good enough to work at this company that like doesn't even care about you? 
they just spit you out like it's no 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 big deal. I mean, you're you're just a, a number. And I don't know, like I know know you can find jobs that are like that that are fulfilling and you can take pride in it, but it's just it's not for me. I just I want to be completely self sufficient. But that being said, I also liked the idea of that like what I'm doing on here and what I am going to do in the future is like it is helping people, right? It's like ASMR is like relaxing and helping people vibe out and chill and be easy and beat anxieties and stuff. And that's something that I've struggled with my whole life. That's how I got into ASMR. So it's like, and then it's like, maybe just me being me, you're learning something from me just talking or whatever. Maybe I'm enlightening you, opening your mind. I don't know. Maybe I'm making you laugh. Maybe I taught you how to cook something. You know what I mean? I feel like I am providing some sort of value here through food somehow as well. I don't like, I mean, I get that to the whole thing, but I just really want to bring like basically like positive like my true self, positive, good energy vibes and like the things that I love and share them with people and have that same connection. And my, my being here like adds value like to your life and then in exchange, I'm able to actually monetarily live my true self and my true purpose and, and get to sort of like choose my destiny instead of just clocking in every day. You know what I mean? kind of where that's at as well and the shit got deep I don't know where but you guys know what I'm trying to say this video all of a sudden feels less about the food more about maybe what I wanted to rant about in my mind it's one of those videos it's a vibe this food's actually just also kicking my ass right now like I'm so full from like not much that always happens to me. Some days I'm like, I, I can't crash. And some days it goes down easy. I just, it's so weird. But it's a can't crush day right now. It's also that, you know what? It's, it's good, but it's not that good. So there's, that's playing a factor as well. So let's end it off by trying one of these cookies. Oh yeah, they're soft and delicious. I feel like I'm more excited for the cookie than anything. Yeah, that's, that looks great. Oh no. The cookie's worth that. I never eat sweets on this channel either. I'm not really a sweets guy. I'm definitely salty savory. Dessert and, and stuff is, is good, but I don't crave it very often but when I do I do and you eat it and you're like oh shit I remember now sugar is banging like you know I get why people are addicted to like chocolate and shit like that but for me I can only eat so much like I couldn't eat more than two cookies right without just being like okay that's enough some people could crush like a whole ass cake or like, like some people can down sweets like crazy. I just don't get it. it. Makes me feel sick instantly. I feel like Megan McCollum can crush sweets. I feel like she low key loves dessert. Not even low key, I think she high key loves dessert. What up, Megan? Megan's dope. She's VV chill. I watched her recent video with fondue. She had sweets and savory stuff. And uh, her hair looked very nice in that video. I like how it was like feathered out. She always looks good, but in this video specifically, she looked mad cute with the, with the feathered hair. So Megan, if you're watching this, I like your hair like that. Very nice.
All right, I'm at the point. I just lay down time. And then I'm gonna get up and go do shit. I just, you know, you gotta take a little 40 minute, you know? Kick back, let the food do its thing, let it settle. Then go get, go get your tasks done. That's what I'm all about lately. I've just been getting up and just checking off the to-do list. Just tasks, getting it done, demolished, accomplished. Makes you feel good. I can tell you that right now. When you make yourself a nice little to-do list and you bang it out at the end of that thing, even if you're not completely done, if you get seven out of nine done, you're like the 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 less stress in, in your mind, like hey, you just feel good. So if there's one life tip for any of you guys uh, for how to live a happier life, if I'm gonna add some uh, wisdom here, is make lists and get them done. Stop procrastinating because procrastination fuels such inner turmoil you know you're not you know you're not doing what you should be doing and it, it eats at you so the more you get shit done and accomplish things the better you feel so I'll leave you with that weak attempt on food but you know it is what it is till the next one you know what to do you got to eat good live well stay true peace